All right, chip of the day. Well, it's a big chip. <laughs> Maybe not even a chip. Okay, it's not a chip, uh, but uh, it is the device of the day. It is a CHB-38-70003, a time delay, okay, from 1 to 180 seconds, all right? And it's made by AMF, Potter and Blumfield. Uh, so Potter and Blumfield is uh, very popular. Uh, I don't know if they're still around or not. Um, and you put 120 volts on this thing, it energizes the circuit. It, it delays for a while, then it closes the relays. There, uh, there's two sets of uh, two sets of, of contacts here, and uh, this one is a particular type. So you can get them so that they're uh, a delay on and then off. You can set them for a, a delayed on and some other condition. We'll look at the data sheet here. So these things were ridiculously expensive. Um, I, I looked at a, a Mauser listing, I think it was, oh no, it was Allied, I think it was Allied. They sold for $175, $175. Um, I found this one in a, in a, a used, uh, no, a, a, a free bin at the store. There was a, a cardboard box and it said free, and this was inside the box, so got to, had to pick it up. Um, mid to low priced CMOS IC delay Time delay relay, CMOS IC, okay? So it's an IC, I, did, I told you, right? It's an IC of the day. That's <laughs> so right here, CMOS IC. All right, um, so let's see here. Uh, we're gonna be this timing mode here where you turn on the, the device and then it waits for a while and then closes the relay. So this is the type of device we have. Uh, there's different part numbers for different modes. Uh, there's the delayed time on, there's the uh, time on and then delayed off, and then there is the on and then off, just some type of time. I wish I had this one. I might be able to find a use for it. 10 amps, contacts are good for 10 amps. Um, 120 volt AC resistive, 10 amps. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, let's see, repeatability, plus or minus 2%. <laughs> Uh, it's fun to look at these things. Um, but yeah, I mean, these things like, nothing to go wrong with these things other than the contacts finally failing on them. Um, pin 11, so it is a one, two, three, four, an eight pin device, if it's a tube socket. Um, so what do you say we look inside here and find the IC? See if there really is an IC in here. It says CMOS IC, time delay relay. Okay, must be a CMOS IC in here. You think it's a 555? Could be. Could be the CMOS version of a 555. You never know. You never know. There's four screws on the bottom. We need to take the knob off. So yeah, let's uh, get a screwdriver here. Okay, knob's off. I should get out my, yeah, let me get out my. No sense, no sense working hard, right? There's the tool for every job. Is this gonna fit these guys? Oops, picked up the same one twice. What do they say, work smarter, not harder? Yeah, I learned that at a very early age. Do not work at all. <laughs> That's the best plan. All right. CMOS I see yet. I see a. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's get the camera. This camera go back closer. So here's the relay, a nice PV relay. Here's the thing. We have a capacitor and this funny thing here, which looks like a capacitor. Um, resistor. 
Uh, looks like maybe something, there's a diode down in there, there's a big resistor over here, and the only active component I see is a transistor, an MSU-112. Now, is that actually a transistor or some type of special unit? I'm going to guess it's a transistor. <laughs> but it is an integrated circuit, I suppose, sort of. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Are they lying? And you tell me. Yeah. Uh, I don't. There's there's no IC in there. Yeah, just a little transistor. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody care to comment whether these uh, whether this truth in advertising or not? Um, CMOS IC, more like a CMOS transistor. Is it even a CMOS? Is it even CMOS? Wait a minute, there's a bipolar. Hmm, okay, MSU-112, I gotta look that up, I gotta look that up. Okay, it is an N-channel MOSFET, okay, it is CMOS, but I, mm, I don't think most people call it an IC, I think most people call that a transistor. Um, yeah. It is a MOSFET. Uh, so they wanted a uh, high impedance on the input to do the timing instead of a bipolar device. So, yeah, it's a little MOSFET. Wacky, wacky. Turn this thing on and off. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, kind of disappointed. So we've got a rectifier in there. We've got a, we've got a diode to rectify the... Uh, Rectify the signal, and then, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. All right, I have it wired up so that we're going to have AC coming into the coils, and it'll energize the device. And then on one of the relays, I have a continuity checker, and it'll make a tone when it makes contact. So uh, we will turn the power on now, and so uh, there's no continuity. It's going to be a delay turn-on, and there we go. Now we have a, a turn-on condition, and we turn off the power, and it turns itself off. So anyway, it's a delay turn on. There we go. Okay, uh, chip of the day. Uh, since this is a short one, I'll leave you with one more um, Potter Blumfield. Uh, Potter and Blumfield, sorry. Potter and, and Blumfield. Uh, here's another one that I uh, found just the other day. Uh, this is also an AMF Potter and Blumfield. Um, uh, switch. Now, um, Tektronics, <laughs> like I said, I'm not crazy about Tektronics mechanical designs. But this is a Tektronics design. Um, so they had AC coming in. They wanted to switch both sides of the AC line. Okay, that's good. Safety first. Um, and so they built up their own uh, double pole single throw. Instead of just buying one, they riveted two onto this thing and then they have a little thing that jams in between and uh yeah so <laughs> there you go anyway that was the uh tektronics ac switch on a tektronic 7000 series scope oh well anyway another uh potter and blumfield